Well, hello, fishos. Um, let's talk land-based fishing with soft vibes. Now, I'm a land-based fisher, so I'll take any advantage that I can get to catch more fish. And while I've been seeing lots of success with these soft vibes um, on the boats and so forth, I really wanted to give them a try and give you some information, I guess, on uh, where the conditions, what sort of fish they're catching here, land-based fishing in South Australia. Where are the lovely um, port uh, river today? Um, I am camped a bit under a bridge, I guess, uh, but let's get into it. Enough talking. So I've got um, six different uh, Zarek Wilson fish traps. Got a really good deal from um, Rodney and the team at uh, Mark Berg's Attic Tackle up in Tweeds. Um, sent them down and uh, we've got some natural colours, we've got some UVs, etc. I've got two rods with me today. I've got my light set up and my medium light set up, or light to medium set up. So one of the things that uh, I've been using lately that's absolutely been a game changer for the soft plastics and lure fishing is these mustard fast hatch um, ultra point swivels. I've got this in the uh, 25 pound, which is probably a little bit too heavy. Um, and I'll try and uh, show you how they work. They've attached themselves there, which is always fun. What they essentially are is um, snap on, or snap, not a snap swivel, but a, uh, you just coil it around the bottom part on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, you lure it and it stays on there. And I'll show you um, once it's flipped on. So we've got the, uh, the olive guppy uh, that we're gonna try first, a bit more natural looking presentation. Um, it is, um, it's a 65 mil lure uh, with a 10 gram weight. Uh, and as I said, using mustard fast hatch, we just put it in there, flick it around, and she's hooked on. Let's give it a cast out around by these pylons here and uh, see what we can do. So from what I've told, and again, this is my first time uh, using these guys, so you tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comments as we move through the video. Uh, my understanding is uh, to let the vibe sink to the bottom as much as possible, and then just vibe it up. I probably should have put some maybe S-Factor on it, which I'll do when I bring it in next. Can feel that, you know, little vibration through the, uh, through the line and that vibration is supposed to hit the lateral lines of the fish and get them interested in the lure. So what we could expect to catch here, I guess, is uh, um, brim, salmon trout, maybe salmon. Um, possibly we could hit the jackpot and catch a little mulloway. I wouldn't care if it was a soapy. And also, obviously, you know, there might be the off chance of getting a flathead, though that's probably unlikely. You can really feel that that vibration through the line and really just jigging it you know, along. I can't even, oh, there's my leader there. So it's, it is still reasonably deep for, it does, uh, does do the trick. I'm actually going to cast, uh, the wind's coming this way or the tide's coming this way, going back out again now, because I missed the high tide due to some issues at home, but I'm just going to cast with the, uh, with the tide. All right, so we just got those uh, front trebles. Those front trebles have just hooked up over the, uh, well, it's actually hooked into the fish trap itself. Put some S-Factor on, and I might just try it. Might try it with just a, uh, a slow a slow retrieve. Right out there in the, uh, in the middle. Nothing there following it. Try back just at the, uh, oh. Hit the, uh, hit the bridge. Uh, might try out the back of the, uh, the pylon out here so as the water's rushing past, there could be some predatory fish sitting in behind there. That's the theory anyway, guys. All right, guys, we've got our first fish. Oh, it's uh, uh, King George Whiting in the Port River. On a vibe, I don't know how I caught it. He has been, <laughs> that's amazing. I was just jigging it up and down, uh, jigging it up and down the side here. Uh, and we've got, I'm trying to get his hooks out of him. He seems very strong and very angry, which I can understand. He bite, he's actually biting my shirt, but that's sort of gonna be the best I can do for you guys. He's nowhere near legal. 
he looks pretty shabby uh, but that's probably because he got wrapped up in my line but there we go I'm gonna just drop down there again just want to uh, get the line that is over the top of my bail arm out which I've done last thing I need is a wind knot when we're catching potentially catching some more fish so that must have sunk right to the bottom this is all we were doing was just jigging it up and down until you could see it hits the bottom jigging it up and down I mean widening a schooling fish there's got to be more than one down there right nothing following it up um, might just go a little bit over to the side here so I'm just letting that free spool down till there where it's hit the bottom surviving it oh that might have been a hit it's definitely uh, might change colors guys see if we uh, maybe use something a little bit uh, more UV I've got all these King George whiting scales all over me so just again you just twist them until they twist off so we've changed lures we've put the uh, 65 mil again they're all 65 mil fat Betty on um, and she's got some uh, s factor and as I said before I'm just letting it sink to the bottom just taking line with this bail arm open I know it's just one fish but gee it got me excited okay for shows we've uh, moved down from the bridge that's uh, down there in the background to this next one um, we're getting a few drops of rain so just wanted to keep the recording gear dry and well really we haven't had any more success since that whiting so um, hopefully this is a a good place to try a bit of structure fish coming through uh, let's give this um, Fat Betty vibe uh, another crack here. I have seen plenty of brim around in this spot in the past. Haven't had, to be honest, all that much success in catching them. Oh, that was a bite. This is exciting. That was a good bite. So I'm just also watching my line once I've vibed it, watching it till it hits the bottom again. And obviously, if I see it straighten out, then it might be something has followed it and picked it up off the bottom. I just bring it up. Didn't feel as um, deep here. I know we're sort of semi on the low tide. We'll be giving these a crack tomorrow as well. Gonna try a few different locations. So really wanna make a useful video for you guys on, as I said, land-based soft vibed fishing. Oh, maybe that was something on the bottom rather than a fish. Might be a fish. No, it was just the vibe vibing and yeah we've caught a little bit of weed on that vibe that definitely wasn't uh, what i felt before was definitely a tug 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 there's a few birds working out around this area i mean seagulls i wouldn't necessarily get too excited about them uh g'day fishers we are at um wallaroo jetty today um we've got the pylons here from the causeway um and we're going to uh, flick some more of these fish traps uh, around there. Um, I have caught a snook off of these pylons before, um, so hopefully we can uh, get something going. Today we're gonna try the uh, Fat Betty again. Should be good in this sort of uh, water. I think it's uh, hooked up on itself because it's, yeah, it's spinning. Yeah, it's come off, that's good. So we didn't get um, anything around those pylons with the fish trap, so I've come a bit further closer into shore on the Wallaroo Jetty. Um, I've put out a squid teaser and uh, also give a flick of the fish trap here, see if there's uh, maybe some salmon or something like that that might be interested in a bit of distressed bait. But it's actually really quite clear water. Um, so I might actually put something on that's uh, a fish trap that's uh, a little bit more natural colour and we'll see how we go. So I think we might have a squid on the teaser. Oh, we do. We actually do. It's, it's not huge, but I just feel it at pull. Or it's a crab. Oh, it's a, it is actually quite clear water. I think it's definitely a squid. Just going to put that down there and then bring this guy in. And he should go straight for the teaser. Straight for the jig here. He, as I said, he's not very big. Now you see my jig. He's gone over to that. He's latching onto it. And we've got him. So we have caught something today. Well, let's get it up. It's actually not too bad a size, I don't think. And we have our first squid. On the old uh, 
teaser. Not a huge squid, but yeah, if we get three or four of them, it'll be all right. One of the things that I've noticed a bit on Instagram and that is um, people, well, Facebook, whatever, people taking photos with their squid. And I've just got this little trick, well, not trick, but the way I do it to try and get a really good look is I want to get um, obviously the jig that I caught it with in the picture, but you've got to use your phone and get down to the level of the squid and I've got an Android phone, but I'm assuming all phones have it. Um, and go to portrait mode. And what all that'll do, you wanna keep the sun on it. If you focus it on the eye and get right down, the jig will be slightly out of focus, which is fine. But you end up with a really great shot. That's just one of the ways I, I think you can get some really good photos with your squid. Rightio guys, our squid fluke has gone well under. So this could be a good size one. Just gonna bring him in slowly. He is definitely very keen for it. That's all right, let's let it sink back down again. He should see my jag now, which he has and he's on it. Oh no. He's just inked, but I didn't get him. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, he was a good size one too. I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put the teaser back in the water just in case it comes back to the actual fish. Oh, get down. Cause he may, if he's still hanging around, he may come back to the actual fish. Not many times you uh, bring him in with the teaser and they go to your jag and you miss them. No, nothing on either of them. Oh, that's super frustrating. No, I can't see them. And usually as once they've squirted and been jagged a little bit, they don't tend to come back apparently. So we're just gonna have to reset that teaser and go again. This one here, guys, just on the straight jig, not with the teaser. Let's hope he holds it. only just landed him. <laughs> wow. Almost got the girth like a cuttlefish. Uh, really nice squid here. Yeah, really happy with that. Looks like something had a go at him too earlier in life. Yeah, very happy with that. If we can get two or three more, that was about the same size as the other one though. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Handy tip to not forget, once you've tightened up your drag to try and land a big one like that, don't forget to uh, loosen it off again, as I just did. You don't want to uh, miss your next big one because your drag's too tight. Try again, because I think this one's potentially got some interest. Oh, I don't know. They're so hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, it's been pulled back that way. Got him, finally. <laughs> oh, we've got uh, number three on the board on the Inku Gold Runner. Yeah, so we'll um, get the teasers back in the water and see if we can get another couple. So we've just changed over to the uh, Glow Tiger. We've got a small one. That's it there, just a small baby. Uh, yeah, can I have a double quarter pounder meal large, add bacon to the burger? So guys, um, McDonald's is uh, a Kadena is always um, worthwhile stopping in. That's what I like fishing at Wallaroo. Um, but uh, yeah, so we uh, we ended up with the four squid today. Didn't catch really anything on these fish traps. So I'm gonna have to do some more work on those. Leave a comment below. If you got this far, give us a like and subscribe. And I guess watch this video next.